A vacation doesn't require a certain amount of travel. In fact, it doesn't have to require any travel at all. But whether you are staying in or hitting the road, there's always an opportunity to save a buck. Our Ken McCoy shares a few tips in this week's Money Matters. Sometimes you just need to disconnect. I would recommend if you're going for a staycation, do disconnect. Put away the work computer, turn off that access to the work emails or work messaging service, and really truly make it a vacation, even if you're staying at home. A staycation is a great way to have a good time while spending next to nothing. You know, what was really great personally for me about the COVID pandemic was the opportunity to explore my new city. I just walked down streets that I had never walked down before and so that's something that on a really basic level you could do as your first vacation is just go on a nearby walk uh, you might actually check out those tourist attractions in your areas the ones that you say I never go there because that's for the tourists maybe their definition of a staycation is booking an Airbnb or just a local hotel in a nearby city uh, they might even rent a car so that way it feels like they've mixed it up from their standard car that they're used to driving and so those are all factors that you can consider and it really depends on your definition of a staycation. Of course, it also comes with costs. But don't panic, there are two ways to save. Let's start with lodging for those who choose to get a change of scenery. One thing that NerdWallet does say for sure is that actually booking hotels last minute does tend to be cheaper. In fact, NerdWallet analyzed hundreds of room rates around the country and found that room rates averaged uh, cheaper 73% of the time when booked two weeks out versus four months out. And how much cheaper? Rooms averaged about 13% cheaper when booked two weeks out versus four months out. And if you choose to hit the road, renting a car may be the way to go. Much like like hotels, rental cars are also typically cheaper when booked last minute. Uh, in fact, we found that the average rental car price for cars booked three months in advance was 13% more than car rentals booked just a week in advance. Another thing that NerdWallet recommends you consider when booking rental cars is going for that downtown location. What NerdWallet found is that airport rental cars tend to be 26% more expensive on average than the same exact company in the downtown location. Luckily, if you're traveling for a staycation, you probably don't want to go to the airport anyway to pick up your rental car. For more Money Matters, head over to fox54.com. For Fox 54 News, I'm Kim McCoy.